Jesus this freaking robot voice was hard to find it's one of the reasons the video is a couple of days later that is besides the point. Before we move on to the point I will like to warn everyone watching that I will be mentioning abuse and if you are not comfortable with that you have 5 seconds to click off. If you saw the title then you know that we are talking about Ettore Tutbadis for a brief explanation of who she is. Ettore Tutbadis is a Russian ladies coach who has coaches such stars as the retired Julia Litnitskaya and the gold and silver medalist Alina Zajitova and Evgenia Medvedeva. She has also been put under heat for her harsh coaching techniques. That is what we will be talking about the abuse she likes to call teaching. But before we do that let me show you videos of the three girls I will be talking about. その村上の最大のライバルロシアのリプニツカヤも上海に到着。この日のリプニツカヤは到着便が予定よりおよそ2時間遅れたこともあってか、ちょっとご機嫌斜め取材陣にも。リプニツカヤが今シーズンのフリーで演じるのはロミオとジュリエット。前のシーズンにパニューがフリーで演じた曲です。Let's start with Ettore's past students, more specifically Yulia Litnitskaya. If you are just an Olympics viewer or a new fan, Olympic figure skater Yulia Litnitskaya retired at the ripe old age of 17 from her figure skating career. She is mostly known for her Schindler's List program which has been playing in the background. Everyone was looking forward to her career because she did that at only 15. Then she started messing up and changed coaches. Her final performance as a competitor was heart-wrenching. She seemed to get an injury after injury, after a whole season of being off of the grid she retired due to anorexia nervosa this was no doubt Ettore's fault she put Yulia on a very strict diet and congratulated her for it this only gets more sad once you know how much Yulia wanted to figure skating quick background fact on her is that she came from a very poor home and she had to do figure skating and once she chose it there was no going back she used to bother her neighbor's roller skating practice. You might think that there is no way that this can get any worse. <laughs> Let's move on to one of Vetteris medalist. You presenting her least favorite Alana's Zajitova. Before any of you nasties try to say she deserve any of what I'm about to say please remember she is only 15. A topic I will touch on later. Well let's go to the rough transition into Ettore's evilness. Like the only reason she hates Alana so much, because Alana is lazy, and by lazy I mean Alana went into practice with a temperance which doesn't match Ettore's almost 24 over 7 practicing. As well as Alana stating that Ettore wanted her off of the team. When Alana had to take a 2 through 3 week break that is not even the worse on top of the harsh practices and her undeniably hate of Alana the choreography she gives Alana shows it all. You know the red ballerina one. It's famous yet very infamous but the future of figure skating and figure skating programs is a topic for later. The topic for today is this choreography was only given to Alina because Ettore had so little faith in her think about it, if your coach after years of emotional and physical abuse she tells you to skate this routine, that is obviously just cheating the system, luckily for Alina it worked out for her by Alina winning gold. Also Ettore's face. When she found out Alana won gold disgusted me, it really only reminded me that whenever her students look scared, or she looks angry we don't know what she does to them. Please remember what I said before this does not get better, 
Even though Evgenia is her favorite she puts her through a lot of shit. I mean Nettery dragged Evgenia when she fell. I mean actually dragging her through the ice and Evgenia got a nickname for it, it happened so much also please remember Rettery has been coaching Evgenia since she was like 6, so she had to deal with this BS for 12 years. We could also see that Ettery was pushing Evgenia's limits in the previous skates of this season and that is worrying, because Ettery likes her girls nice and young, so she can keep winning her medals. After all of this there is no way you could tell me she is a strict coach this is abuse straight abuse, and at all of the people trying to say that she didn't push Yulia to retirement or the people trying to make me feel sorry for her are you serious yeah life gives you a lot of bullcrap but it doesn't make up for crappy behavior. Anyway all I can say to wrap this up is father also please adopt them, I don't want them to have the same fate as Yulia.